most Christians are at a point where they believe that end times are near. The topic of Antichrist became a subject of interest, discussion and debate this year, and will remain so in the years to come. As a Christian, there are telltale signs you need to be aware of during these end times. The signs we will uncover in this video are already things we are witnessing right before our eyes. The past few years have been some of the most difficult years of humanity, characterized by false prophecies, wars around the world, and economic meltdown causing desperation among people around the world, especially the poor. As a result, we are only supposed to watch out as we are already vulnerable to manipulation by the Antichrist. The Antichrist is not just going to appear and announce himself as Antichrist, and this is why it is very important to understand what is likely to happen before and after he makes his appearance. People are already getting prepared right before our eyes for manipulation by the Antichrist. The Antichrist is traditionally understood as a figure who will appear before the second coming of Christ, embodying evil and opposing God. The Antichrist is expected to come as a proud man, compared to Christ who came as a humble man. While Christ came to raise the lowly, poor and rescue sinners, the Antichrist will cast out the lowly and magnify sinners and exalt wickedness. Before the Antichrist comes, there is an expected increase in the number of false prophets and messiahs who will mislead the faithful. Rumors of lack of peace in the world will also increase suggesting an increase in tension, and although the book of Matthew says that these are not the immediate signs of the end, they will cause problems around the world. There will also be increase in environmental disasters and famines in various places in the world, suggesting the beginning of birth of pains and desperation around the world. Moral and spiritual decrease, meaning people will turn away from faith in God and there will be an increase in lawlessness, loss of love and compassion among people, as stated in the book of 2 Timothy 3, Bonamanus 5. It is also suggested that the church will fall away from traditional beliefs and values, and the Catholic Church is one such example with its recent change in their stand on blessings of same-sex marriages, away from its traditional belief of its morality. The Third Temple in Jerusalem will also be rebuilt before the Antichrist appears. There is also a possibility of a one-world religion and one-world government which will likely be completely possible with the arrival of the Antichrist. There will also be false peace, especially in the Middle East, which could be orchestrated by the Antichrist or occur just before his public appearance. When the Antichrist makes his appearance, he will exalt and justify vices, will revive worship of idols and seek his own glory, read John. Let us now look at three examples of biblical references of the Antichrist. 1. John 2.18, 2002. 1 John 4, 3. 2 John 1, Brown 7. These epistles of John mention the Antichrist, describing it as both a singular entity and as a spirit or influence that denies Jesus Christ. John also indicates that many Antichrists have already come. 2. Thessalonians 2, 3 minus 4, 8 minus 9. Paul speaks of the man of lawlessness or son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself above God, sitting in the temple of God. This figure is often associated with the Antichrist. 3. Revelation 13. This chapter describes two beasts. The first beast rises out of the sea, is given authority by the dragon often identified as Satan, and is worshipped by the Earth's inhabitants. The second beast, or the false prophet, performs signs and deceives the inhabitants of the Earth. These beasts are commonly associated with the Antichrist and the false prophet in eschatological interpretation. The Antichrist will be a charismatic leader who will deceive people and claim to be a messiah who will perform miracles and mislead people. He will have political and economic power that he will exert to control people in the whole world. Because of his economic power and control that he will wield, he will give people that accept to follow him the mark of the beast 
to be able to sell and buy. According to the Bible, and to be specific the book of Revelation, which reads that the beast will cause all people to receive a mark on their right hand or forehead, without which they cannot buy or sell. Many people have given the interpretation of the mark of the beast many meanings in the way it will look like. However, the mark of the beast can take many forms. It could just be a literal mark or brand, maybe a number, for example, 666 tattooed on the skin or on the face. It could also be a microchip implanted in the body, biometric identifiers, or even a unique digital ID accompanied by each person's details. It could also be a symbolic or spiritual mark, which is represented by a mere allegiance to the values of the beast. It could as well be in form of a currency or financial system under the control of the beast's economic system which excludes the people that don't conform to the beast's rules and regulations. Finally, because the Antichrist is very deceitful in nature, and so that Christians don't get to avoid his tactics, he may as well use a combination of all these elements. The Antichrist will also probably introduce a new economic system crushing the existing one. The crash of the existing system is likely to lead to desperation around the world, making people more vulnerable to exploitation by a charismatic and authoritative figure. The Antichrist new economic system may be characterized with digital currencies and a lot of control of existing digital infrastructure. He may as well promote conflicts and lack of peace around the world, causing economic impacts and disrupting gig, main supply chains, leading to economic declines. The Antichrist will lead people away from God to himself, and he will promote moral and spiritual decay. He will perform miracles and wonders, and exalt himself above God. He will hold supernatural powers granted by Satan to perform feasts and miracles to deceive people. 2 Thessalonians tomb speaks of lawlessness caused by Satan's works. Modern interpretations define the supernatural power as advanced technology to perform high-tech illusions and healings. The miracles will only be illusions and not genuine miracles in the divine sense of it. They will just be acts that appear like miracles. The Antichrist will initially bring a period of false peace or false security, only to later break peace agreements and bring destruction in the whole world. The Antichrist will present himself as a peacemaker to gain trust and the allegiance of many people. He will use the period of false peace to consolidate power. While creating the peace, people may look at him as a savior or a messianic figure, but at that time, he will be trying to make it easier to establish control over nations and peoples. This false peace will be contrary to the one promised by Christ as Christ offers everlasting peace. During this time of false peace, the true nature and intentions of Antichrist will be revealed, leading to diddy disruptions, suffering, and great struggle. To end the acts of the Antichrist, Jesus Christ will come to earth for a second time. The second coming of Christ will be distinct from the first coming of Christ, which referred to the birth, life, and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5.2 says that Jesus will come unexpectedly like a thief in the night. In the first coming Jesus came to the world as a baby, but the second coming, he is going to be visible to everyone and will be marked by glory. The book of Matthew states on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. It is expected that his second coming will coincide with the resurrection of the dead and the final judgment. Both the righteous and the wicked will be judged, and Christ will establish a kingdom in the world. During this time, the book of Revelation 19, 11 to 21, talks about culmination of the cosmic struggle between good and evil. Christians need to pay attention and think critically at this time, and as life becomes harder in the coming years, so that they don't fall in the trap of the Antichrist.